Hi there and welcome back to the series. In this video we're going to create another kind of polymorphic relations called a many-to-many -many polymorphic relation. This is actually going to be used to, to yeah, actually add tags to um, multiple people and multiple businesses and have the same tag also attached to multiple people and multiple uh, businesses. So let's dive into it. Okay, so we're going to perform more or less the same thing as in the previous video, but with that difference that we're going to use tags for multiple people and multiple businesses and also the same tag to go along with um, a person or um, yeah, uh, a business. So um, first of all, uh, in one of the previous videos, I made a mistake. I added tag mo the tag model already and created a migration for it, but I forgot to fill it out. So we now have a structure that only holds an ID, create add and update it to add and delete it to add. So we're going to start off with a migration to add uh, the, yeah, the tag name, as you will, to uh, this table. And in the meanwhile, we're going to create our taggables table that we're going to need to add tags to businesses and people. So head over to warp here and we're going to add PHP artisan uh, make migration like that. Uh, and we're going just to call it for ourselves fix um, tags and add uh, taggable like that. All right. So this will creating a new migration for us. And like we did in the previous one, I'm just going to copy this like that in the up. I want the schema table um, tags. That's right, tags, because the table is called tags right here. Tags to have, um, and I'm going to delete this one here, uh, table. Um, and I want it to be called, uh, have a string of uh, tag name and I want it to be after, uh, let's say after um, uh, ID, right? Like that. Save that and I'm going to add another one here, but I'm going to copy a create schema for that like this. There we go. And this is actually the table that we're going to create that holds the binding between uh, tags and people and persons. Uh, sorry, people and businesses. And this is going to be called taggable. Multiple uh, taggables, so taggables. And we're actually going to get rid of all this. And the first one is an integer. And whoops, whoops, integer. And this is actually going to be the tag ID. So the ID of the tag in the tags table. The next one is also going to be table. Um, and it's a tag, uh, sorry, an integer as well. Integer and called taggable, taggable ID. And this is quite similar to what we did previously, right? So a taggable ID, a taskable ID, it's more or less the same thing. And the next one is going to be of a taggable type. And this is going to be a string. All right, so we're good to go here. Let's run this migration, PHP artisan migrate, like that. That actually ran. So we should have, if we update here, um, a tag name. And in here we have a taggables, which is holding a tag ID, taggable ID, and a type. All right, so just to start off here, I'm going to add uh, the tag friend. Um, I'm going to, like that, um, I'm going to insert uh, colleague, I'm going to um, client uh, and I'm going to also add, um, let's see, uh, um, broker or something like that. Well, whatever, you, you, get, you get the picture what I'm trying to do here, right? So, and I also want to add a few relationships already as well. Let's insert 
and well I actually want some more here so for tag number one I want it to be model one app models whoops it's and this must be cased correctly uh, person but no worries in one of the next videos we're going to use uh, yeah we're actually going to do this in cruds as well so taggable I want a taggable three to be number two and I want three and two to be business and that should be okay but I also want to be uh, I also want to have um, tag number oh, tag three for a person there we go and normally person with ID three and I'm also going to add another one for uh, two three and also person right there there we go so this actually created a few things for us so we have tag one which was a friend for um, yeah uh, person ID three and I did make the mistake here but we're going to actually create uh, well actually delete that in one of the next videos so um, yeah that will fix itself all right so let's dive into the code here um, just like we did with a task we need to define this morphe relationship right to start off in the tag here we're also going to um, use here the relationship so relations and this is called morph uh, sorry morph uh, to many like that and in here we're going to add a public function so public function uh, called um, well we're in tag so I want it to be uh, people like that add curly braces here and I want to return this uh, morphed by uh, so more morphed by many and morphed by many person class and it is actually taggable again so taggable so as we did in tasks it takes this uh, prefix to define which type and which um, uh, ID it should use like that and that's it to have people and let's copy this for um, uh, businesses so businesses and that's actually a business like that morphed by many all right okay so let's head over to business and in here at the top I'm also going to actually copy this one and instead of morph many it's morph too many like that and in here instead of oh, I'm actually going to copy tasks and I'm going to call it uh, tags and it's morph too many and it's a tag and it's tag a bull like that and let's copy this one and also for the person here I'm going to do the same thing tags and copy this one morph too many all right so that should do the trick and let's actually go ahead and go to the page here all right so this are my people and in this index file I want to actually loop over all the tags and well I'm going to add another column here on our table so we, st we still have a little bit of space here um, and let's do that so uh, person index and let's call it tags all right uh, and this should be here so another TD like that and just like the tasks, I'm going to use it for each for person tags and tag. And I want it to have tag and it should be tag name. All right, so I hope this works and it does. So now I have friend, colleague, colleague. And indeed I have this two times here because yeah, I made a mistake while defining them. Um, 
but no worries in one of the next videos we're going to add CRUD functionality for tags and tasks and yeah this won't yeah this will be fixed automatically then because we're going to check on multiple inputs so also we have client and if we head over to business well actually I, I didn't add it already so let's actually copy this here and head over to business index and table head like that uh, tags did I mention it here also tags all right great and in here I want it to be like that whoops what did I do company name oh, oh all right because it, it is business like that and also client we have one client company and if we check that indeed we only have one business model related to the tag with id3 and one person with tag with of id3 so that's actually working great so in the next video i'm going to add crud functionality to yeah manage those tags in uh, the businesses and in the people and also add tasks and mark tasks as done so See you in the next video. Take care.